Hey scrappers, we got ourselves a old school computer monitor here. It's a ViewSonic. Uh, it's used in, in schools and classrooms all the time now that the power supply has been uh, snipped off. Pretty sure I did that earlier, but no biggie. So first thing, hit that um, latch right there and take this off. And generally there's four screws here and take the case off. And there you have it. That's the inside. Alright, so one thing you want to make sure is it's been unplugged for a while because this wire, any, any red wire coming from the transformer is hot. If it's been unplugged for a while, it's had some time to uh, lose its charge. I've never been shocked, but I also generally make sure that my um, TVs or, or monitors, whatever I'm Whatever I'm doing have been unplugged for a while before I uh, start tinkering with them. And this one's been unplugged for quite some time. Anyway, so the big the big money components on this are this wire. That's the degaussing wire. And the yoke. You can see that bear right there. So it's, it's in essence, wires, a little bit of wire. Um, the yoke and then the gauzing wire and then a little bit of low grade and that's that's what's of value in here all right so these are kind of tough to get off sometimes okay so you can see there's a decent amount of wire in there and this yoke has a little tamper proof bit which is I have to go back inside. One thing you want to check is that this wire is actually copper. A lot of times these are aluminum, but this one, this one is copper. So just check the weight. The weight will tell you. And also, if you see a little silvery stuff in there, that means it's copper. But or pardon me, I mean it's aluminum. Well this one's copper. So these are really easy. These are really easy to strip and uh, worth your time because it's mainly copper and less insulation. Also this thing, there's a silver uh, wire that goes around. That's actually number two copper. So just keep that separate. See that? Just keep that separate. That's number two. And generally, got about a pound or change of miscellaneous wires in here. All right, there's our low grade board. Let's snip all these wires off. This one seems to have a lot of wires for whatever reason. It's got some good. They don't weigh that much, but still adds up. Throw in a bunch of these, all of a sudden you've got 50 pounds of wire, which is about 50 bucks. So just get your electronics, snip the wires, throw them in a bucket, take them all in at once. Now, I really like these little motors right here because you can just you can just snap those off. Give it a little snip. And you just got some nice and easy bear bright right there. So there's a this is one of the bigger ones I've seen, but there's another one right here. And this generally they're little small ones like this. Alright, so here's what was inside that computer monitor. The yoke got some very nice bare bright in there. These usually have about three quarters to a full pound of copper in it. So usually worth your time to break that down. Some miscellaneous number two copper, some low grade, more stuff on here to pull off if you want. I just didn't this time. Uh, some number two wire, 
again that degaussing wire, the big thick one that goes around the base, is, is worth stripping. Um, as long as it's copper, you got to make sure it's copper first. And then, not all this is from this uh, this tel or this uh, monitor, but these this came off, and that's that's stainless steel. Uh, these are usually stainless steel. And so that's pretty much what you got in here. As far as value goes, you're probably looking at a dollar. If you break this down, two or three bucks. A little bit of steel, a little bit of number two, and some low grade. So usually around five bucks a television is is a good good uh, standard to use. So there you go, Robbie two scraps. That's how you break down a computer monitor.